All right, so we are in NCCR Core. This is Module 5, Introduction to Construction Drawings. Construction drawings are one of those things that are really intimidating because lots of times um, you're not just looking at one page. A building plan has can have 50 pages or more, I don't know, depending on how big the building is. But there's a lot of information. There's a lot of little details, a lot of little numbers, that it can just get really overwhelming because uh, it's just so much information all at once. And so it's intimidating to a lot of people and they just shy away from it and they say, oh, just leave that up to the foreman. The reality is they aren't that hard to read if you know what to look for. And also, if you do know how to read them, I mean, it sets you above a lot of the guys on the job site. A lot of the guys don't know what they're looking at. So if you know the basics of what to do, it'll really help you move up your way, uh, move your way up the chain um, of command on a job site. And it's just helpful. It's always good to have more than one person who can read them to double check to make sure you're doing stuff right. And so again, it's just knowing what to look for and so you know where to find the information you need at a given time you aren't it's not like a book you have to read from cover to cover it's you have to i need this measurement i'm going to look directly for this i need this window detail i'm going to go to this and so it's just knowing where to look for and what the different lines mean uh, and so we're going to go through the different types and what the different lines just this is intro overview of the construction drawings so we can get these all right, so there's a bunch of different types. And by a bunch, I mean, what is it, seven, six, six different types. And so they might have some different names. I'm trying to, here, trying to make it small so you can see everything on the page. And so these are in a set of construction drawings, a big roll of blueprints. You're going to have all of these. They're all going to be piled on with each other. And sometimes there's going to be an extra one that is um, details, your index, your... Um, schedules and i'll explain what that means in a little bit but so these are your different types it's important to know the difference so a civil plan or a site plan so civil plans as it says this is the aerial view of the building location so this is the land the contours of the land what's the elevations of the land the slopes and sometimes even um, where is landscaping and stuff going to go this is the big picture of the whole lot that you're building on and so the civil plan has to do with the land also the drainage of like stormwater, rainwater. Um, if you think like parking lots and stuff, that's outside the building from aerial view. Think of looking at the build site from an airplane or helicopter. That's what you're looking at. So those are those kind of details. So if you're looking at maybe where exactly on the lot you're gonna be building, what's the elevation of where you're gonna start digging the hole for your foot or all these different things. Where's the water, where's the sewer line or drain water line gonna be for in the parking lot? Where is this and that? That's in your civil plan, right? And so this is a civil engineer. These are the guys who do this. Also, you would think like road work. So bridge engineers and stuff, they're gonna be civil engineers um, because those are civil plans. That's like dealing with the landscaping, not necessarily the structure. Um, so architecture, the architectural drawings are what the building is going to look like. Um, what are the details, the measurements, all these things that is in the architectural. And so an engineer, his job is to make sure a building is structurally sound, right? That's what he's worried about. He's not worried about it, what it looks like. An engineer is worried about, is it going to hold up a hundred years without falling down? Architects, their job, their main purpose is to make a building look good, all right? So again, their, what your, their job is to make it look good. And so you're going to have different kinds of plans within an architectural um, set of drawings. And so we'll get into that, but you're going to have floor plans, roof plans. So this is the different parts, different views of the house or of the building showing you what it's going to look like. Now, structural drawings or structural plans. Now, these are going to give you the details of what is going to be holding this thing together. What materials are you going to be using? What kind of fasteners are being used to make the connections? What's the foundation going to look like? How big are the piers? All the important details that the engineer has specced to hold this thing together, those are going to be in your structural drawings, right? So this is what's going to be holding this thing together. Mechanical is anything basically with a motor. So your HVAC, um, I think maybe your sprinkler system, that might be included in this. But things that are going to be um, running around up in the ceilings and different things. This is your mechanicals. And so you can get more specific in your mechanicals. They could go then to your plumbing plans. And this is obvious, this is where your plumbing is gonna go. So this includes the new fixtures 
Also, what is the route for your drain lines, your water lines? Where is it going to be coming into the building? Where is it going to be exiting the building? All those things are in your plumbing plans and then electrical. Common sense again, the electrical plans are where your light's going to go, where your switches, what kind of amperage, all these different things. Those are your electrical plans. On a house, these are really basic. Lots of times they don't really even have these. Maybe electrical will have a lighting pattern. But, I mean, it's pretty much you just do it up to code. But when you get into big commercial buildings, like, for instance, this school, think about all the lights, all the special things, the sprinkler system, all the HVAC, all the... In my room, I have this dust collection system that would be a mechanical. I mean, there's all kinds of things going on in this big commercial building. And so these plumbing, electrical, and mechanical plans are a really big deal. And I don't know if you've ever seen our the mechanical room in the school, but all the big boilers, all the, like, there's a lot of stuff happening in this building. And so all those plans are, the bigger the, the, bigger the scale of the building, the more details these are going to be. And so we're going to look at some examples of these plans. Here you can see the civil drawings, right? Again, this is aerial view of the land. And so all these little lines are your contour lines and that's showing you the elevations. And then here is the outside of the building and here is parking lot, all these different things. Um, this is your civil drawing. When we get into scale of civil drawings, these are covering the biggest areas. This is lots of times acreage, right? It's not just a building, but it's like a huge lot. And so their scale is one out of, or they divide their scales into tens because that's easy to scale it up to like a hundred or thousand to make it really big. So civil drawings are usually in scales of 10, whereas lots of times the actual building is scaled down to maybe a quarter inch or eighth inch, um, different things like that. We'll explain scale in a little bit. Just remember civil drawings use scales of 10, which are engineer scales. And lots and metric is the same way. It's also scale of 10. So you can see there's going to be, it's called a legend. A legend is going to tell you what all the little symbols mean. Um, and so you just have to, so like, let's see. Um, I'm just trying to find a symbol that would be marked. This is your, I think this is bushes and here it's saying mulch and flowers and all this stuff. But these little symbols here is going to tell you what those are. So it's going to tell you what kind of plant. There's going to be a list of a legend is what it would be called. And it's going to say a 1CR3 is this type of plant. No, to put it there. And so there's all kinds of little details that they put in these things. All right, so we're getting into architectural drawings. And so again, this is what it's going to look like. So this is a roof plan, which is one type of architectural drawing. And so this is a looking at the roof. On a house, it's pretty simple. Not a lot is happening on the roof. It's just your pitch and then your shingles. But on, again, commercial buildings, that's where they hide all this stuff. So they put all your HVAC things, that's what these are, all your air conditioning units and different things up on the roof. Um, there's different stuff. So it's gonna have all those details. So now we get into measurements, where it's gonna be, the location, a lot of finer details. That is found in an architectural drawing. Right, and notice it says right here, this is mechanical room. And so this is specifically, I wanna know where do I put this unit um, on in the mechanical room. So you're gonna flip until you get to the right page that says mechanical room and then look at the plan. So again, it's finding that thing that you need. And so if it's about the roof, you're gonna look for the roof plan for that specific room, right? And so just knowing where to look. All right, so an elevation drawing isn't looking at it from the sky. Elevation is first person view as if you're standing looking at the building. And so elevation is going to tell you the heights. And so if you see right here, this symbol, there's a bunch of them that kind of look like a nuclear waste symbol is what I think of when I see it. That is the elevation symbol. So whenever you see this little circle, right, that little symbol, that means it's going to be telling you an elevation height. And so lots of times if that's what you're looking for, you know, why well, I have to look for this symbol first. They're always going to have that symbol. And so just know that's what you're looking for if you're looking for elevation. And so this is above sea level, different things. Um, basically, once you get your starting point, everything is based off of that. But so elevation drawing is going to be, again, first person view. And so lots of times they'll give you some exterior details and things because this is what it's going to look like when you're looking at it. And so you can use this to judge what things are going to look like. Right, and sometimes they'll give you measurements on spacing. But this is your elevation drawing. So a section drawing. So this is, they cut the building in half so you can see inside. 
And so no longer are you just looking at it from the outside. Now they cut it in half so as if that wall doesn't exist. You can see the different floors, the different elevations, how the stairs and stuff are going to work from an elevation standpoint. Again, here are all those symbols, a little bit bigger this time. And it's going to have all your different measurements. All right. A detailed drawing is just zoomed in. All right. So zoomed in drawing of a detail. Pretty simple. And so what that means is this is just showing you the connection. How is the ceiling going to connect to the blocking and then the blocking to this and that? So the detail is just the zoomed in of what it's all going to look like. And so that just helps you get those little fine details that are really important. Lots of times structural drawings are a detailed drawing like this. They zoom in and they give you that really important process of what all the structure is going to look like. How are the beams and attachments going to be? And so if you're looking for... Lots of times what will happen is you'll see a little number like this that says eight on your big blueprint. And then you're going to know turn to structural or architectural detail drawing number eight. And that's going to tell you. So it's just knowing what to look for. Um, so look for that little symbol. It's going to tell you where to flip the page and then just flip to that page for these detail drawings. Foundation drawings. And so this is getting into more structural. Again, the details of what is going to be holding it together, um, keeping everything snug fasteners, these kind of things, that is going to be in your structural drawing. And again, it's kind of a zoomed in detail of just here's what the piers are going to look like. There's footer pads underneath each one of the steel beams that are coming down. And so structural drawings are going to give you those details. And here is a structural detail drawing. Again, it's just a zoomed in of the footer. So here it's showing has a pier. And then it's going to have a little bit of a slab on top. That is going to be holding your system with the J bolts and stuff down in. And that is what is holding up this building. Mechanical plans is again, where it's confusing. If you're an HVAC guy and stuff, you know what you're looking at, but all these little symbols, they all mean something. Again, you're going to look in that legend. It's going to tell you what they all mean, but it's showing where things, what connects to what, um, where the home runs are going, meaning, back to the things, here's a vent, all that kind of stuff is in a mechanical drawing. Plumbing drawings, you can see here, this is showing where all the toilets are gonna go. This is so. This is kind of your, um, your detailed drawing of the finishes, right? And here it's showing you your sanitation drop, it's showing you where the wastelands are leaving the building, all those kind of things. Electrical drawing, so this shows where all the wires, how they're getting connected. Um, so it goes from this switch to there, to there, or outlet, whatever that is. Um, but you can see, this is just how they're all connected. And so it's just telling the electrician what to do. Again, in a house, usually they just kind of do what makes sense, but on these big commercial buildings, um, they have to make sure they do it right because there's so many intersecting parts and things. Um, they want to make sure they get it, everything just the way they want it. And so this is just a schedule. And so a schedule is just another kind of Think of a glossary at the end of a book, and this is just giving you all those details. So when you want to know what is breaker 2A supposed to be, you flip over to schedule and that'll tell you what that is. And so the same thing with doors or windows. Lots of times they don't give you the measurements on your plan, but they give you a door schedule. And so on the plan, there's going to be an opening and it just says A, door A. So you have to flip to the door schedule, the glossary, and it's going to tell you all the information you need to know about that door, the details, because it just doesn't all fit in one little page. All right. So other things that are going to be on your pictures, every page is going to have a title block. So this is on the, usually on the right side. It's the whole way down the side. It's going to give you this information. You're going to get your logo. Who's the one designing? Who's the one building? You're going to get a sheet title. This is important. You want to make sure you look at this first, because this is going to tell you if it's the right building. Sometimes you get into structures where there's four buildings, like these apartment complexes. They're basically all the same thing, but a little bit different. So make sure you're looking at the right one. And so always check sheet title. And the next thing you always need to check is the date. Make sure it's most up to date one. Lots of times there's meetings and things that are happening throughout the build that things have to change. You find problems or someone changes their mind. So make sure you build it to the most up to date drawing, not the old one. That can cause a lot of issues. It's gonna give you the architect again, different things. And then also you're going to find scale, which is important. It's going to tell you, is this a quarter inch equals a foot scale or is it something else? Look for that. And then revision blocks. 
This is maybe they haven't reprinted the whole thing, but they have changed some things. So look in the revision box where it's going to change those details. All right. So these are the information on that. Again, here is a revision block. It's going to tell you the date. It's going to tell you um, when it was revised, what happened to it. So just make sure you are paying attention to those details. I guess there wasn't a picture of a floor plan, I don't think, which is a frustrating. Let's see if I can find one. Now they skipped over floor plan, which is weird because that's the most common blueprint you're going to be looking at for details. I'll see if I can find um, a, vid a picture of one maybe to add in as I'm talking here um, in the video. But a floor plan is an aerial view. You're looking down at the building, and this is gonna tell you all the measurements for your walls. It doesn't tell you how tall the walls are, this would be elevation. Remember, heights are elevation, but your floor plan is looking at it from the sky, but this isn't like civil because this is the actual structure. And so it's gonna tell you how far is it from this corner to this corner? How far is it over from the wall to the windows? How big is the wall? How long is the wall? Where are the hallways? All the details are in your floor plan. So most times when you're building as a carpenter, if that's your job, that's the pages you're looking at because you're looking at where do all my walls go? What are the measurements? And so again, it's just knowing to go and look. So if I'm looking for elevation, go to that. If I'm looking for a mechanical issue, you're gonna to go to that plan. All these different things, just know where to look to flip those pages so you can go right to what you're looking at, right? Because a blueprint isn't a book to read from start to finish. A blueprint is a, like a dictionary, is gonna give you the detail that you need. So you're looking for that specific detail, all right? This is part one.